What's going on? My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro. We are at the U.S. Aquatic Sports Convention in Jacksonville, Florida, and I am joined by a special guest, Ralph Davis from Michigan, on the board of directors. How are you? Great. Yeah, we're having a good time here. Okay, so for those uh, who are watching who are not familiar with the U.S. Aquatic Sports Convention and what, what happens, maybe if you were to summarize what the convention is, how would you explain well, it? Well, the convention brings uh, four, four groups of us, United States Masters, which is uh, people that want to continue to swim uh, after it's from 18 to 100, all age groups, and the other partners that we have here is USA Swimming, which is all the youngsters through age group. You know, these, these are the ones that eventually become Olympians, and eventually they graduate to Masters. And two other organizations under this umbrella is uh, United States Diving and United States Water Polo. And we each have our own meetings, but we use the synergy of the four groups to negotiate the hotels and things so that we can have an annual convention. Awesome, and how many years have you been coming to this convention? I've been coming to this convention for about 25 years now. 25 years, so let's get into your swimming background. I want to talk about you know, your journey through the sport. So walk us through you know, getting into swimming and when, walk us through that. Well, I've been swimming you know, since about five, mostly in lakes. I didn't get into competitive swimming until I got to high school, so I swam in the high school swim team, was captain. And uh, when I get to college, I didn't swim in college. I was already married with a kid, and so I had to concentrate on that. But uh, after a long period of absence from competitive swimming, I got back in about 25 years ago. I used to do a lot of running before that because I traveled all over the world. You can always take some shorts. Mm -hmm. But I've been enjoying uh, master swimming for about 25 years. And during that 25, I was involved in the Michigan LMSC, was uh, 16 years on the board for that, treasurer, uh, LMSC chair. You know, that's the governing body that organizes the swim meets, et cetera, for the local. And then uh, about 10 years ago, I got involved in the national, uh, where I was treasurer for four years, was two years off, and I've been treasurer now for another term of three years, and I have one more year left. And so I've been on the board. This will be my eighth year on the board. Awesome. So you're super involved within the sport of swimming. Uh, and, and some of the people watching may recognize you from maybe a TV spot or something like that. Yeah, I... Talk, uh, talk about just okay, from the beginning, you right. know. From the beginning, well, the, I don't advocate anybody to do the commercial that I did because the reason I did the commercial for uh, University of Michigan Hospital is I had a heart transplant. Uh, that was in 206, and uh, it was a long journey. I was in the hospital for eight and a half months, and that's a long time. It's like being in jail. And uh, on February 11th, 206, I got my heart transplant. I consider that my second birthday, and I celebrate it the same way. It's getting a gift of life. And I uh, basically, I won the lottery by getting a new heart. So now I'm, my heart today, I'm... 12 years out from that, my heart is only 30 years old, and I have been in great health. In fact, I recently just came back from the Transplant Game of America. Tell us uh, about that. And what it is, is every two years, they have the Transplant Game of America. It's like the Olympics, it includes all the sports from swimming to track, golf, to table tennis, to, you know, Everything you can think of that's in uh, the Olympics. We have about 8,000 people to go. We go as a Team Michigan, Team Texas, and it's to celebrate the gift of life, but also it's a five day of competing in sports. Swimming was two days. I swam in 10 events, won five gold medals, four silver, and a bronze. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> There's a photo of you, uh, we, we've shared it on the Michigan. Uh, Facebook page, you have all your medals, yes. and it just looks amazing. <laughs> well, the one thing I'm most proud of is in 2008, two years after I had the transplant, I did a commercial for the Michigan Difference ad campaign that they had for the university. And during that four-year campaign, we raised $3.3 billion for the University of Michigan. I'm very, very proud of that because they gave me life and I was only happy to give back some time. So, so uh, we need to pause here. So 
3.3 billion, billion and with down a B, and with a B. It's not this is not 3.3 million. And this was the University of Michigan Hospital yes, system. Yes, major system. ad campaign, but it's can, the hospital and is part of the University of yeah. Michigan. Yeah. So it's all part of one, but we emphasize the Michigan difference yeah. was the hospital. Yeah. And I was there be, and the Michigan difference made a difference for me because I am sitting here with you today. That's incredible. And, and you mentioned you're really involved at this national level, you know, on the board. And for, in the pool, what is your involvement like in the pool? Like how many times per week are you swimming? I swim three to four times a week and uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and either a Saturday and Sunday, depending on whether one of my grandkids have a football game or an other mm -hmm. sports activity. So it's something that uh, you just fitness for life, yeah. and I just I enjoy that as much as I do competing. I think no one else uh, can convey that as you can in terms of uh, fitness for life. Uh, what do you advice do you have for people who are looking to get into swimming, or maybe they're just starting out, but they're they haven't really found their sweet spot yet. I guess I can tell you this is that swimming you can do forever. It's a non con a non stress sport on yeah. your organs. I mean, not organs, but your joints your and body, that. Yeah. And you can do this forever. You might have been running, jogging, whatever at one point in time, but swimming you can do forever it doesn't make any difference yeah and you just can't feel the acceleration you feel from doing a workout yeah and that's really the the great thing about swimming and uh, all ages can do it you know if a guy that's had a heart transplant can switch so swim competitively anybody can wow have you heard uh, any inspiring stories that that, that you were the origination of that inspiration. Like you, I'm, I'm imagining you have inspired a lot of other people. Have you seen any of those stories or have you met people that are in somewhat similar circumstance? Well, obviously we've met a lot of people that, are, that I've uh, you know, told them to go to the transplant games, to yeah. get involved in swimming or just do anything. Mm. Even if they can't really compete, they have, walk, they have actually a walk or whatever. And I said, whether it's swimming or anything, all of us have to continue to move and move around. Even if it's water aerobics, I said yeah. you have to get involved. But obviously I try to get them involved in joint master swimming because yes. I love that sport. Yes, and, and with that, with joining master swimming, I guess, uh, you know, where do you see the sport of swimming moving and you know, the growth of, of fitness and this movement of getting people active? You know, how do you think master swimming fits into all of that? I think master swimming fits into that because master swimming is not just for competitive swimmers, yep. it's also for fitness swimmers. Yeah, and we, that's what I tell people. My goal has been, and I try to tell all the other masters, people involved in master swimming, just have a goal for yourself. Yeah. Get one person to join every year. One person. One person, that's all you have to do. That's your job. We have 60,000 plus members and I tell everyone in Michigan Masters and everybody else, just get one person to join. Don't, ha don't say 10, just do have a goal of one a year. And that's been my goal for the last 15 years I've set, and I've been successful in doing that. That's amazing. And if, I mean, if you do the math, if there's 60,000, everyone can bring one in, all of a sudden we're doubling in size. It and makes it a pretty example. easy goal, doesn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, uh, any final words, advice, wisdom uh, for the fans that are inspired yes. by your story? I guess the only thing is the reason I'm here is that you have to have the mental attitude you never give up. Because mm. if I did, I wouldn't be here sitting with you. So never give up and say you can always accomplish your goals. That's amazing. And with that, we'll sign off here at the U.S. Aquatic Sports Convention with Ralph Davis. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Thank Thanks you so very much. much. Bye. Bye.